Hello my dear family members I hope all of you are preparing well for your upcoming cognizant exam today I'm going to cover one of the most important topic not only one but the three important topic for cognizant those are aptitude assessment technical assessment and interview experience if you have given the aptitude assessment then you are waiting for the technical assessment if you have given the technical assessment then you are waiting for the interview experience so for all of you for all of you this video is going to be very much important okay so please watch till the end so that you can grab all the things and just one request guys please do subscribe this will motivate me to make more content on cognizant as all of the youtubers are creating videos on tcs and qt interview i'm doing this video for you guys so that no one miss any content okay so let me just do it for you so at first let me start with the technical uh questions that was related to um yeah html css javascript and those will be very much helpful for cluster one and cluster three so if you are from cluster two then please skip some moment you can watch that as well for your interview and then you can watch uh, from the end of the video okay so let me start with the question so the question is uh this so actually uh i have the questions but i am not going to show you fully because this will impact badly so for the copyright issue i am not going to show but the question gist is you have to create an application okay there you have to add a feature that is called digit count so you have to have this application where you have this feature digit count if user write something in the uh, text box let's say write one two three so if this is the string uh, written by the user then the number of digits is one two three so this three will be shown at the uh, like out box output okay so this is the thing just the objective and let me show the brief objectives so those are add the id digit count to the span element used for displaying the digit count so this objective is from uh, html and second objective is set the color of the digit count to this in css file so this is from css and the javascript objective is this update the javascript to set the digit count elements text content to the length of the digits in the input string so guys if you have not been watching the playlist of cognizant then please watch that because that will be very much helpful because there i have updated like uploaded various questions from html css javascript and i have seen that no youtubers is covering this so please watch that that will be very much helpful i am showing you the question showing you the objectives and then answers outputs everything so please watch that and that will be very much helpful and while the video uh while making the video i'm telling you a few informations like uh in the exam how your output uh format will be like sorry how your code editor will be and how much code you have to write so these informations also helpful so please remind it okay so that means you have to write three separate files html dot html dot css and dot js file and dot css file dot js file should be included inside the html file okay and then after writing the code uh, like how much code do you need to write that is just this line just this line the full html code will be written for you just this line you have to include and for css for entire css file will be there but just you have to include this color for the digit count uh id okay nothing else so here also for javascript the full function will be written just for the logic uh, you have to write two or three lines okay nothing else so let me just show you the sample output so that you can write your code by your own okay so guys this is the sample output let's say i'm writing something here inside the text box so please subscribe this channel guys i hope you have big heart so let's say subscribe uh, 14k okay so is it two so one four that is what like let's say 14.3 okay so as you can see three digits so count is increasing as i am writing a new digit here right let's say five so it will increase so it will increase if i write another so this way it will be increased okay so this is the sample output so i hope you understood what the task is so you don't have to see where this text box should be aligned and what is the, what will be the color of these it is this you don't have to take care of that just the 
color of this digit count they it is the objective and the digit count id should be included inside the html that is the objective and the count should be increased as soon as user enter new digit nothing else so these three are objectives and you get the full marks so let me just show you the solutions if you have already given the sol uh, like written the solutions then i'll really appreciate please put down your code in the comment section i'll love it okay so let me show you the code but before that guys if you have not got our full materials where i have included everything you want like for html css javascript uh, it is one part and also you can get the java solutions python coding codes uh, codings and communication assessment full mock test interview experience everything which you need so you can see the feedbacks and also it is marked as five stars so you can get it and also you can see we have been recognized as a like trusted and also were recognized as a genuine and most one of the most good influencer in top mid so you can have this okay so this is for you so you can have it or it is your choice okay so let me show you the code so this is the full html code it will be written for you okay and just one line you have to include that is here inside the span tag just include id attribute digit count okay so digit count i have added so all of these lines should be skipped you don't have to worry about that okay and also you have to include this javascript and also uh, link the uh, style.css file okay okay so let me show you the style.css and here the task is just add the digit count id and give the color that is color is to has 03 dsce so this is uh, like mm, this is the re objective i have added okay so guys let me know in the comment section how much proficiency you have in html CSS, javascript so that i can lower down and uh, like also i can grow like tell you from bigger aspect okay so let me show you the like we have written two objectives so far so let me show you the third objective that is here it is written okay so uh document dot get element by id text input so this is where we are targeting that is mm, text input is here okay the text area inside the text area uh, like we are targeting okay so that means let me show you where so this is the text area right so this whole area is text area so this is where we are targeting okay so document dot get element by id text input dot add event listener so if user write something that is if user input something then event listener will be triggered that is uh, constant digits is equal to e dot target dot value so this will grab e dot target dot value this will grab the string we have written so let's say the subscribe one two three so this is the string and that will be targeted using this e dot target dot value and then and this e is coming from here okay you can write it anything so e dot target dot value so this will grab the text string and then this is inbuilt function in javascript what it will do that is replace all the non digit character with a blank okay all the non digit character okay that means uh okay i hope you know a little bit about the uh, regular expression so this slash d means slash d means all non-digit numbers and this this slash g means global that means from full text area if we find any non-digit number we will exclude that so as of now let's say i have written subscribe one two three let's say i have written uh subscribe one two three okay uh subscribe please guys subscribe techno uf one two three okay so this is the string entire screen uh, uh string and these three are the digits okay so let me show you what it is doing that is let again we are targeting document dot get element by id digit count okay so where we are targeting that is here uh yeah here in the span okay so this is where we are targeting that means here okay here we are targeting that is 
डॉक्यूमेंट डॉट गेट एलेवन गेट एलेवन पे आई डी डिजिट काउंट डॉट टेक्स कॉन्टेंट सो वी आर सेटिंग सम वैल्यू सो इन टेक्सट कॉन्टेंट दैट मीन्स इफ आई राइट टेक्सट कॉन्टेंट दैट मीन्स वी आर सेटिंग सम वैल्यू सेटिंग ओके वी आर गिविंग सम वैल्यू वाट इज दैट वैल्यू दैट इज इन दिस डिजिट्स सो इन दिस डिजिट्स वाट वी हैव लाइक एज ऑफ नाउ स्टोर दैट इज ऑल द नॉन डिजिट कैरेक्टर्स लाइक ऑल द digit characters only so we have already replaced and removed all the uh, like non digit characters right we have removed all these all these okay just we have 1 to 3 inside this digits variable right why because we have already replaced non digit characters right so 1 to 3 is inside this so this is where it is stored okay then we are getting digits dot length so that is 1 2 3 is the length of the string i mean 3 is the length of the string so that will be set that will be set where here okay that will be set here nothing else so what's the workflow that is when uh, let me write something let's say one okay so this is the string i am writing and a is so this is non uh, non digit character right so this will be removed then 56 will be stored inside the digits variable and that uh, like using text content uh, we are just setting some value inside this span uh, tag right so nothing else using length variable okay, i mean length function okay so this is what we had the task so let me just inspect and let me show you more deeper that is uh let's say as of now this digit counts is zero right so as soon as we write something what it is doing uh as of now it is zero okay as of now it is zero here as of like if i write one then you can see the length is updated with one if i write seven so length is two as of now so length means this one seven this is the length so this is the length so that's why it is upgraded with 2 so this is like how it is working so i hope you understood guys so if you understood then please do appreciate guys so that will obviously uh, like mm, in, like motivate me to make more content okay so as i have promised that is i'll share some aptitude questions and interview experience so let me tell you few okay if you uh, if you have given aptitude then skip this moment and wait for the interview experience okay so aptitude assessment for two days experience uh 12 uh, sorry 22nd may the experience is questions has been asked mostly from profit and loss i saw that profit and loss then question has been asked from roots i mean quadratic equations and then work also speed okay and also probability permutation okay permutation and combination and also uh yeah interest so these are the main chapters i have seen that they have asked questions from so if you have if you are preparing for aptitude assessment then please do uh practicing the previous questions previous lots questions because i have seen that 50% more than 50% questions are exactly same as earlier slot this is what i have observed okay so please do uh like practicing those okay so and you can just uh, simply consider our prime materials and i will not force but you can have this this will obviously help you okay and let me tell you about the interview experience most of the interview uh interviewer are asking about obviously the intro okay intro then interviewer asking about the projects okay then the oops concept and then based on the cv that means if you have given java c++ or python as your skills then from that language they will ask few questions that is technology you know okay and then they are going to give you to write sql query or a uh, code and that will be very easy obviously and then managerial round i mean few puzzle related questions okay so be careful about this
so this is what i had to share guys for two days so i hope this video is helpful for you so if you found this video helpful guys please do subscribe and watch the playlist regarding any company that you want and please do suggest me which content do you want more in the upcoming time so thank you for today's session